So Diamond League record, new Norwegian record. Did you meet or exceed your own expectations coming into the race today? Um, sort of. <laughs> of course, yeah. I want to run fast and I want to do what I can to, to win. Uh, but after, or I mean, only two weeks after a, a tough race in, in Tokyo, you never know how, uh, how tired you are. And uh, you never know. Of course, I'm in, I'm in good shape, but uh, last two weeks have been uh, yeah pretty tough uh, getting back home to Norway I was uh, yeah, I was finished both uh, mentally and uh, physically so just uh, try to uh, get ready for uh, today's race and of course try to do some uh... good job Jacob <laughs> baby brother <laughs> Big brother. Big brother shows up <laughs> so any any jet lag from the travel what? any jet lag from the travel back from Tokyo of do you course. feel that as a factor yeah, today yeah, yeah. Uh, or not necessarily a factor, but everything, you know, plays a uh, plays a part in uh, and uh, in the both traveling and and also in uh, in big races. Uh, but as I said, the first week back home after Tokyo I was uh, yeah, I was totally finished. So just tried to to get my uh, you know to get get fit and uh, try to get some sessions on uh, race uh, race pace. Uh, but of course, I, I didn't come here to to. To run slow i want to uh, run as fast as i can and i try to win in every race uh but you're always nervous and uh it's uncertainties about uh so how you're really it seems like since 2019 there's been a change in tactics in the 1500 on the international stage where nobody went really went with chariot at the world championships <laughs> everybody kind of laid off the pace and paid the price and um, do you think that's a factor in how it seems like every championship race is 330 or quicker now I don't think it's it's not from 2019. It's always been you know graduate from let's say 2016. Each uh, final and basically every race has been going faster and faster because we are getting faster and uh, you know the the level of elite athletes are going faster and faster and we're getting stronger and stronger. Uh, so the last four or five years we're basically the same. Uh, we're the same athletes on the top level, but we're all getting faster and. Uh, I think it's, for example, in Doha, Chariot was the, the best one and we just tried to do as good as we, we could. But now we're all in, a, all in a higher level. So now everybody's trying to do the same things, but we're just stronger. Knowing the pacer was supposed to hit 151, 152 at 800 and going with that, did you have a time goal set for today or just to win the race? Of course, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to do a PB and uh, of course with doing that, uh, I know that probably gonna go sub 50 and probably sub 48 which obviously was the main goal with uh, Stewie doing that on uh, in Oslo so wanted to run faster than him and try to do as well as I could what of course wanting to beat Terry as well yeah. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be introduced on a stage like this as the Olympic champion like the fact that forever now yeah, it will so always that will always be in front of yeah, your name it is, this is my first uh, race being a uh, reigning Olympic champion so that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> is, is there, is there, is there, I mean, you've handled every, you know, every pressure, you know, for, from your career, you know, with so much poise and so much maturity. Is there, is, is there a weight on, on you for that? I mean, like, I mean, do you feel like, do you feel that there's even yeah, more course. pressure now that it's that comes? A, there's always a, a pressure and expectations, but uh, it's a bit, uh, a bit different because I, uh, I believed that I was the, the best in the world when I was 10 years old. So I've always had that stupid mentality. So now it's just that it's it's actually true, but I always felt like the best. So it's not that much difference, both in impression and also expectations, because I felt like I was the best one when I was getting last in, in Diamond Leagues. So just reality now. So Jakob, now with you know, Olympic goals, so many national records, so many things in front of you, what, what do you feel you have still left to accomplish? What are the, the goals ahead of you? Um, so I have different goals, uh, but my main goal is to win major championships and also beating uh, records. So I started doing junior records and then national records, now basically in the European record territory and then eventually going faster and faster and records getting harder and harder so ultimately it's the world record I'm trying to 
see how fast I can go and how near I can get to the world record or if I could beat some of them. Um, so ultimately that's the main goal. What, and what gold plan? medal here at Oregon next year? Of course. Yeah, good. What Always plans do you have for Diamond League races for the rest of this year? Uh, I try to do uh, Busan and then Zurich, but uh, I think we have to see it. We also we always, you know, wait till the till, till the end to make decisions. Mm -hmm. But I love to compete. I love to race. And uh, if there's a, a good opportunity, I will I'll take it. And uh, yeah. it's not fun to train. It's fun to win. Right. Win races. Congratulations <laughs> on your win tonight. Thank you so much. Thank